Hi babes, welcome to my channel. Um, today is a breast cancer awareness set and I'm doing a collab with three other beautiful ladies, um, Paige, Cynthia, and Eileen. I will leave them tagged so you guys can go check out their nails that they did for this. Um, and also I'm using Madame Glam's gel polish and I did want to mention that for the month of October they are partnering with survivingbreastcancer.org and um, Madame Glam has a think pink collection and so every gel polish sold from that collection they will donate one dollar um, to the survivingbreastcancer.org which I think is absolutely amazing um, I already love them as a company um, and everything that they represent and how their gel polishes are 21 free, vegan, cruelty free, HEMA free, and palm oil free. Um, but then the fact that they are partnering with this survivingbreastcancer.org and donating a dollar of every um, purchase from the Think Pink collection is just amazing. Um, go check them out. I will leave both links in my description box. Um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam for 35% off. It is Rachel35. That will also be in there. Um, so definitely go check them out and, you know, get you some pink gel polishes from that Think Pink collection, okay? Um, and just know that a dollar will be donated. So that is just truly amazing, you guys. And I absolutely love that about them. Um, I know it is towards the end of October, um, but I did want to mention that because there still is time. Um, anyway, so this um, this month is definitely very special to me for a few different reasons. Um, I absolutely love Halloween. Um, and then there's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And then there's also, um, it is also Infant, Stillbirth, and Child Loss Awareness Month. Um, and as you guys know, I have lost a child. Um, to a stillbirth in 2018 so this month just has um definitely quite a bit of um meaning to me um and it goes by so fast every year you know so fast um so in this video i am doing a fill um this was about two weeks worth of grow out so this was like an actual fill not a rebalance um which man doing this really really showed me the difference um i already knew there was a big difference but this went by so fast you guys um literally like just having to fill in the back portion of this little bit of grow out is so much easier to do than a complete rebalance um so yeah it's definitely nice so i am going in with my 3x course five in one and my eval is on like 25,000 rpms um definitely only do that if you're comfortable with your e-file um, i worked my way up to there so i'm just taking off my design and then um taking off any lifting and just kind of um you know changing you know a little bit to, to my structure and stuff um so and you guys structure and apex and foundation all that is really important especially if you're wearing your nails um you know they teach you these things and you're supposed to learn these things for a reason um you know having a proper apex and the proper structure it's not only aesthetically pleasing but it is also there for a reason um so your nails do not get injured um so it is very important to learn that and to practice that even if you're doing pop-off sets um it's you know it's still if you are trying to teach people or explain how to do things um it is just definitely a really important um people come on youtube to learn um whether you're teaching them or not they come on youtube to watch and to learn um so doing having proper application and doing things properly um it's very important it really is and so you guys definitely learn how to lay acrylic good practice everybody starts somewhere you know what i'm saying but continue to get better and learn about structure in your apex and proper filing and just proper techniques so you don't get um 
you know, dermatitis and, you know, like there's a lot to it. So, um, all that is very, very important, you guys. And I think everybody that is on here doing nails should, um, absolutely be worried about their apex and their structure and at least striving to be better at it. Obviously, you know, there's, there's things that I still try to get better at. Um, and I do, I continuously improve. So anyway, I'm going in with my file. Um, just kind of doing a little bit of shaping before the acrylic. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Um, there wasn't really much to do, just kind of refining the edges and um, just doing the sides a little bit. Um, like I said, there's not really much to do because it's a fill. Um, and so anyway, you guys, this um, collab was very, very important for me to do. Um, like I said in the beginning, I lost my stepmom to breast cancer. Um, when she was finally diagnosed, um, it was very, very, um, late and she lost her battle about eight months later. Um, by the time that they caught it, it was stage four and it had spread, um, quite far. So down her spine and to her hips and it was just, um, yeah, it, it, it was, it was very aggressive. Um, and unfortunately, um, you know, I feel like if her doctors would have, um, done more testing, um, five years prior when she first started complaining about stuff, um, and given her an MRI, you know, maybe her, her journey would have been different. Um, so definitely advocate for yourself, you guys. If you feel like something is wrong with your body, absolutely put your foot down and advocate. Um, a lot of doctors don't like to be questioned or, um, you know, a lot of them don't like it when you advocate for yourself. Um, but do. It is absolutely important that you advocate for yourself, okay? Um, if you feel like something is wrong or something is not right and you feel like they are just not really like diagnosing you or it's not the proper diagnosis just continue to advocate for yourself you guys it is so important um or for your children you know for your loved ones um yeah it was it was a very um fast um loss after her diagnosis um and it was very traumatizing for everybody involved unfortunately her daughter and her sisters were nowhere to be found until like the last week of her life of course um you know death um brings out some nasty sides of people and family um it's crazy but anyway you guys so um that is how i have been affected by breast cancer um after this situation, I, um, it really opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, and I've always been a caregiver at heart, you guys, always. And this was like my first time, um, physically caring for an adult in every sense of the need that they needed. Um, I mean, every, every need and basic living essentials to, to hygiene and I mean everything um was up to me and my dad um and it was very very difficult um and neither one of us have been the same after and it just she was way too young man way too young so um definitely this is very special to me as I'm sure it is for a lot of other people um and even if you haven't been um affected by it or known somebody that has it, it is, is still very important to bring awareness to breast cancer and even men can get it, you know, that's very overlooked. Um, so definitely, um, look into it if you want to, um, my condolences to anyone who has lost somebody and I want to give, um, a big virtual hug to everybody that is fighting or has won the fight. Um, that is truly amazing and you're absolutely an incredible warrior. 
Um, so anyway, I am um, doing my acrylic right now. So I went in, um, instead of using both my primers, I just did two coats of Protein Bond because there wasn't that much grow out and I didn't want to use my um, No Lift Nails on it. So, um, yeah. And so I'm just going in with the same nude acrylic. Just doing, like, literally just filling in that back area. There was not a lot to do. Um, just kind of that main area. And then some little beads like this just here and there um, to make my structure correct. And make sure that I didn't have any weak spots or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, you guys. I um, am just, I'm going to let you guys sit here and... Um, watch this for a little bit and I will be back shortly.
right you guys i am back um so i am just right here i am just quickly going over with my sanding band to um, seal the cuticle and just further smooth things out um there wasn't much filing to do at all um so i i didn't really need to go in with my normal five in one um yeah so i decided to just skip that um so anyway you guys i want to thank everybody um for all of your guys' support um your love your comments um, watching my videos, interacting with me, the friendships that I've gotten from here. Um, I just, I truly appreciate it and I love you guys so much. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post more videos. Um, I do have a couple more coming up for sure that are, one is already um, ready to be posted and then another one needs to be edited. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, and yeah, definitely like this video, leave a comment. I enjoy interacting with you guys. Um, and, um, tell me, like, do you guys have, you know, what's, what's your guys' story with breast cancer awareness? You know, have you, um, known a family member or a friend that's been through it? Have you yourself been through it? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, but anyway, you guys, definitely thank you so, so, so much. Um, this video definitely means a lot to me. Um, and like I said, there are three other women um, who did nail sets um, with me as well. And I will post um, their channels um, in my description box and um, link them and everything so you guys definitely go check out their um, videos um, Paige has made a full video and then Cynthia and Eileen both did shorts um, so definitely go check out their channel and show them some love and support and go see what they created um, dude it's been so cool I love doing collabs because Everyone has the same theme to go by, and we all come up with totally different nails. Um, so that, I, I always love seeing that. But then also seeing just all the other breast cancer um, awareness sets that have been posted this month has, it's just been really awesome because they're so different, um, but all the same in a sense. Um, so that's just, it's always really cool to see how creative, um, everyone gets and where their mind goes with it and stuff. Um, I had a couple other ideas, um, in mind. Um, like I said, you can do so much with nails. Like there's, it, there's endless possibilities. Um, so yeah, I have really enjoyed watching everyone else's sets. Um, again, go check out Madam Glam's Think Pink collection, and if you guys want to purchase any gel polishes in the month of October, they will be donating a dollar to survivingbreastcancer.org, um, and use my code as well. It is Rachel35. Okay, so we are starting with Lotus Fever. This is a beautiful, it's like a light, light pink. Um, I absolutely love this pink. So we are starting off with this color, um, and I'm going to do a full nail right here. I do do two coats, um, so every time, like, you know, there's a transition, that's me curing, basically. Um, it didn't need two coats. Um, I could have gotten away with one coat, but there was just slight, slight type of, um, very slight, uneven towards the cuticle so I just went ahead and did a second coat but I did very very thin coats um so yeah that's just I didn't need to but I did um and I had done a practice nail like before this um so you see on my palette right there I already have um a color out and this color dude I love this color I've used it so much it's florist and this is a beautiful pink 
I have used this color a lot and I love it. Um, but anyway, so it's already on there. Oh, and I'm using my Madame Glam striping brush. This brush is beautiful. I can't wait to try their other brushes and stuff. So, um, yeah, I did a practice nail and, uh, it was not turning out how I wanted to. So I'm glad I did a practice nail rather than trying to figure it out <laughs> while I was videotaping because, that sucks um but anyway so i am doing my ribbon um yeah i keep my mistakes in here as you guys know so um i will be back on the next nail not really much more to explain on this one All right, you guys, so I'm basically um, done with this part. I do, so I cured this, and then I did go ahead and thicken it up, but I forgot to record, so yeah, you didn't get to see that part, but it is thicker. Um, I, I just saw it, and I was looking at it, and I was like, hmm, definitely needs to be a bit thicker, so I did that off camera, unfortunately. Um, so now I'm going in, it's really hard to see right now, but I'm just doing a really light, um, kind of getting my outline done. Uh, this is essentially going to be a shirt, um, like a, a tank top and showing a woman's cleavage. Um, I wanted to do this part 3D, but I just didn't want it to be too much and, uh, too big and bulky. Um, so I decided to not do that. Um, but yeah, this was fun. This set was actually really fun. Um, I've never done like any ribbons or this kind of shirt. Like I've seen a lot of these little, like, um, some like bikini tops and stuff like in the summertime. And those were always super cool. Um, so anyway, yeah, I did this and, um, I mean, this was easy. This was literally just, you know, the two, the two humps and then you fill it in and then you add in some shading. Um, not even really shading, just some other little details and boom. Um, so this was fun and then I knew I wanted to add like a necklace or something, um, but I, I wasn't sure quite how or whatever. So first I thought I was gonna paint it, which you see in here and then I'm like, yeah, no. Um, but anyway, so that's what's going on here um i will let you guys i feel like this is about to be over in a second um so i'm just taking a black gel pot um 
with my Madame Glam striper still. I did everything, um, all my nail art with this brush. It was beautiful. I don't know the, like, the length of it. Um, it's just their striping brush. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But um, anyway, so I'm just kind of outlining the top of the shirt right here, giving it um, just a little bit more definition. I wasn't sure if I was going to add like some little lace on the top right here or uh, maybe like a corset lace up going down the center or some buttons, so to say. Um, I just wasn't sure, but because I've seen all of that and they look really cute. So I definitely knew I needed to outline the top right here. Um, and now I'm going in with a, it's a jelly black, but you can mix this yourself with a black and then some clear. Um, and I'm just going in and adding some like contouring, you know, um, so you can actually see the shape of this beautiful woman on my nail. <laughs> um, and like I was, I really like things to be even. And so just kind of getting them even or in the right place. I was just kind of messing around with them until I felt like I liked it. And then once I got them there, I kind of took the paint off of my um, brush and I kind of just made it a little bit lighter um, so it wasn't so like definitive and it was more just kind of there. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on here. And then I do add with this same color a little bit of um some cleavage you know just 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 so you really know what it is because some people might look at it and just think it's like a heart french tip or something i don't know so anyway um that's this part um i will go ahead and let you guys watch and i will come back here in a little bit
All right, you guys, I am back. So I am just finishing up with two coats of some black gel polish. Um, and then I wanted to go in and do a marble with the two pinks that I used. And so I lay, this is um, Floris, such a beautiful hot pink. And then I lay kind of like a line of that out on my palette and then I come in with Lotus Fever and I do the same thing. Sometimes I do them like touching um, and then I kind of scrape them up and sometimes I do it this way or sometimes I just do them in circles and I pick them up one at a time. Just It depends on what method I'm using. Um, and then I added some black. I wasn't sure if I would need it to just kind of help it flow. Even though the background's already black, it just kind of helps mix it in there and mix the polishes um so yeah I wasn't sure so anyway I picked up the two and I did some marbling and I was like yeah I don't like that so I tried to fix it a little bit and then fix a little more and it just it wasn't where I wanted it so I said no retry um so now I'm taking I just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do um so now I'm taking this clear black that I have um, and I am putting it over my nails and I'm not curing it. Normally I would use like a blooming gel or something, but I didn't want it to spread that much. Um, and I just wanted kind of like a marble, um, but this made it marble easier and I didn't want to do black because I didn't want it to get muddied. Um, so I figured using this clear black was a good idea. Um, and so I just kind of have my ombre brush and I kind of pick them up the two colors and then I picked up a little bit more and just kind of added it and I saw it kind of spreading out and it looked super cool. So I went and cured it and um, doing the same thing on these nails, just doing the clear black, um, not curing it and then putting the marbles down. Oh, my bad guys. Um, so yeah, have fun watching this and I will come back when we do, when we go back to the middle finger.
All right, you guys, so now we are back for some final touches. Um, so here's where I'm doing the necklace. I went ahead and put some rhinestone glue down, um, and then I put a small little rhinestone down, and then I'm making the chain with black caviar beads. So um, I kind of messed around with this, so like the path of rhinestone glue that I had, I didn't like it, so I, after a little bit, I go in and I kind of widen it up and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, and make it how I want the necklace to look, and I just kind of mess around with it. Um, these, this was like my favorite part to this. This really, um, like brought it all together. So right here, I'm kind of moving them out the way and I just add some more, um, rhinestone glue where I want them. So anyway, um, this is basically my final touches to this nail. And then I add some rhinestones as well to another nail. Um, and so we are basically at the end of the video, um, well, towards the end of it. Um, so again, I just want to thank everybody for all your support, um, for, I mean, just everything you guys, like genuinely, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, so please subscribe, like this video, leave a comment and also go check out the other ladies that I leave, um, down in my description box and probably in the title as well if it'll fit um go check out their nails and what they did um and show them some love and support too if you haven't already i'm probably the last one that's going to be posting um so you guys may have already seen them um i will be showing everyone's nails at the end a picture of everyone's nails with their channel name on it um but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I absolutely enjoyed doing this set and I've already gotten so many compliments on it so far. And yeah, this set was fun and it was meaningful and um, I really enjoyed it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.